Okay, in this video we're going to be taking a look at some applications and games that are specifically designed for the HP touchpad. Um, got Angry Birds loaded up here. Made sure I preloaded this, had a bit of trouble opening it up. Um, let's get up the first level. It's basically um, just like um, how you would expect it on um, any other device. It works perfectly fine. This is the HD version, so the graphics are um, really good. It uses up the full screen. Which is just fine. Move on to the next level. Just to show you. Runs nice and smooth on uh, HP touchpad. No problems with it here. Uh, let's move on to another application. Next one we're going to take a look at is Spaz HD. Um, this is a Twitter um, application for the HP touchpad. Um, it uses up the full screen. And one thing I did notice is, say for example you get any messages or mentions, it doesn't actually send a notification to the tablet. You actually have to open up the notific um, the application before you get the notifications. Which is kind of annoying but this is still in beta and I hope hopefully they'll add it in, um, in a later stage. Um, let's go to, let's take a look at Engadget. Um, this application isn't designed for the HP touchpad. I just wanted to show you what it will look like. So it comes up like a little mini phone and you can still scroll through it um, just as you would on a mobile um, on a mobile phone version. I'd like to see it maybe they stretch it out a little bit so it'll fit the tablet screen. Um, let's take a look at Glow Hockey. Um, this is the first glow hockey. Um, you see, it runs very smoothly. Um, the graphics are a little bit pixelated because this isn't the HD version. You can buy the HD version from the HP um, catalog, but I just don't see the point in paying for it. Um, the graphics in the in the um, paid one, the graphics are a bit sharper. I don't know if you could tell in the video, but it is a bit pixelated and a little bit blurry. And in the paid version, you do get like a, a lot more features. Um, let's take a look at another application. Let's take a look at tuning. Okay, in this application, you can get different radio stations from literally around the world. So you can just go into browse. You can search um, by location, and you can just basically say, for example, you, you like a certain radio station in another country that you really want to listen to all the time. You can easily just find it on this um, device. See, so I'm just looking for some countries in Europe just to show you. You see, you have all the different countries that are in Europe, or you could just search for the radio station um, name in the little search box at the top. The application I wanted to show you was Weatherbug. Just gonna show you that. It's another um, application that's designed for the tablet. It uses up the whole screen. You could add in different locations right at the top. So you got Weatherbug headquarters. You could just move over to London, and it shows you the temperature. You can ever change it from degrees or Celsius. It shows you like 30% 30, um, 30 of a rain shower and it has like a little picture here and it shows you the weather for the next three days. It's got a very nice um, layout, it uses up the whole screen. You've got little buttons here you can change for the settings, uh, you refresh and um, stuff like that. You could add more pool locations in as well. So it doesn't have to be just London, you could add in, say for example, another location that you might be traveling to in a couple of days or something. It's just a really good um, weather application. So the next application we're taking a look at is Art of Glow. Um, what it is, you can draw pictures and it kind of follows where your fingers are going. It's a pretty cool application. You can make draw whatever you want. Make faces, you know. Just draw pictures, it's a great application just to mess about with. And you could go into the settings, you could change the color. Try to turn this around for you. You can change the color, the speed, how fast it blinks, the shape. You know, there's a bunch of different um, options that you could do and change up. Um, it's a really good application and it's free from the HP catalog. Next application we'll be looking at is FreeCam. This is one for the touchpad. Because the touchpad doesn't have like a built in camera, you have to download a third party one from the HP catalog. Um, you see the camera's right there and you just snap there to take a picture. Um, the camera quality is really terrible, it's not clean at all, it's just very fuzzy 
and you know maybe it's the application or the camera itself but could be improved a lot but you can get this through from the catalog marketplace and try it out the next application we'll be taking a look at is news republic in this application you can view all your news stories from um, a bunch of different categories and um, you've got top news business celebrities entertainment sports technology and ones from the united kingdom so we're just going to take a look at technology you say it's got 537 stories you can view um, all of these different stories from different um from different websites uh, this is from tech radar and you tap there that's from new age new media age shall i say it's just a bunch of different um, tech stories that you can view and if you want to expand it you could just kind of swipe across or even go full screen with it and just view anything that you want or your touch isn't working but it's still a really good news application for the HP touchpad it uses up the full screen and you have these different um, panels that you could scroll across as well which is really nice and you can get this free from the HP catalog okay the last application we're taking a look at is Assault 6 this is probably one of the best um, games I've seen or applications I've seen on the HP catalog so far graphics are really nice we're just gonna load up a race I'm just gonna show you like one lap of the race to show you how smooth the graphics are and everything everything's 100% sharp but you do have to pay for this so I think it's three pounds or depending on what country you're in but it is worth it okay I'm gonna show you a quick lap um, just to show you how it performs, the graphics are nice and smooth. Um, I'm using the touch control, so you just tap um, the left part of the screen to go left and the right part to go right. It's just I find this is the easiest way to actually control it because using accelerometer, it's a bit difficult because the tablet is so big to steer. I find this is the easiest one, or you could use um, they have like a mini steering wheel on the screen, which also works just as good. I'm racing in the yeah, Mercedes C63 AMG if you're interested. Do a little power slide. Graphics are very nice, very it's a uh, really polished off. Anyway, that was just a quick lap to show you um, how the game runs on the phone. It runs really nice, it runs really smoothly, and this is the HD, so it looks completely crystal sharp, if that's the word. And that's about it for the review. That's all the applications I'm going to show you. I don't think I'll be doing any more application videos. Um, that's about it. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below. Tell me what you think. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. in the where you draw your finger so it's thingy no maybe hee <laughs> hee smiley face